So optometrist or ophthalmologist? As a second year optometry student, it is all too often that I am confused with an ophthalmologist and a lot of people wonder why I didn't go into ophthalmology and why I chose optometry instead. And instead of trying to convince you that optometry is better than ophthalmology or the other way around, I thought I'd lay out the facts. What is an optometrist? What is an ophthalmologist? How are their educations different? And if you are looking for an eye doctor, which one should you go see? So right off the gate, an optometrist is an OD, doctor of optometry, who does four years of optometry school and then can do an optional residency to specialize in a certain part of the eye. An ophthalmologist is an OMD, medical doctor specializing in ophthalmology, and their training consists of four years of medical school and three to five years of residency. Now, depending on... Now, as far as the quality of education, being in optometry school, I'd say it's very rigorous, very good education. And I know, and we, I think we all know, medical school is hard. Medical school is a rigorous, good education as well. Now, as far as what each of them do, think of ophthalmology as eye surgeons. And they're more than that, but eye surgery is what they mainly do. And optometrists as a primary care of the eye. So both are eye doctors, but one has a broader scope of practice, can do more things, and is the only one that can do surgery. And optometry has still pretty broad scope of practice, treatment and care of the eyes, but just can't perform certain special procedures depending on the state and needs to refer to an ophthalmologist. Now let's get into some kind of compare contrast. And this is where you can play along. Now, who do you think goes to school for longer? Definitely, you know this, I already kind of talked about it, it's ophthalmology. Ophthalmologist, four years plus three to five, good. Optometrist is four years plus one optional. But what is different is that in optometry, you get four plus one years of eye education really in the eye. So let's say a residency trained cornea specialist optometrist will have five years of eye education. Whereas an ophthalmologist will have four years of general body education, the first year of residency is usually general as well. And then the next three years is ophthalmology specific in residency. And you can add an extra one to fellowship and specialize as well. So ophthalmologists have about one year less in general of eye education than optometrists. Now I'm not saying that optometrists are smarter than ophthalmologists, but I am saying that if you think that optometrists aren't as well versed in the eye as an ophthalmologist, you are wrong. Ophthalmologists do this because to do surgery, it's really helpful to understand the entire body and then focus in on the eye. But a lot of ophthalmologists work hand in hand with optometrists to treat the before and after care of surgeries, as well as doing just general health stuff as well. There are a lot of practice where ODs and MDs work together to provide care to their patients. And so before you go down and hate me in the comments, just know that a lot of the times optometrists and ophthalmologists work hand in hand and in general, hopefully, I mean, depending on your person, neither of them consider themselves better or smarter than the other. Now, next, compare and contrast, which one do you think is in more debt after school? Now, that is actually debatable depending on which school you went to. Optometry school is generally less than medical school, but that's not always the case and some optometrists do end up in more debt than ophthalmologists. Now, flip side of that coin, who do you think makes more money? And if you guess ophthalmologist, you're gonna be right generally 100% of the time. If you're looking to make more money and you're debating between optometry and ophthalmology, ophthalmologists make more money. Surgery's where the money's at. If you wanna go into eye care, you don't care about what kind of eye care, and you're just wanting money, definitely choose ophthalmology. Their income is generally $100,000 on the low end more than optometrists. Now, which doctor should you go to for your eye health? Now, my recommendation is that unless you have a striking problem where you know off the bat you have an ophthalmologist you're going to go to, it's generally better for almost every condition to go to an optometrist first. Now, I'm not saying like an eye exam at a Walmart will do this. Some Walmart doctors do a good job, but you'd want to go into like an optometry practice 
who can do a good comprehensive exam and get your general eye health, and that'll catch almost every eye problem, eye disease out there. So please go in for your annual or biannual eye exam for preventative eye care at the optometrist. Now, an optometrist will know when to refer to an ophthalmologist to get your procedures and get your things done. Now, you can go to your ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologists are trained to do refractions, give glasses and give contacts and things like that. A lot of times they'll refer that stuff out to an optometrist, but they can and they are trained to do that. So to summarize, go to an ophthalmologist if you know you have like an ocular emergency or treatment and go to your optometrist for general eye care. Thank you for watching this video. I hope something in here was helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.